Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can turn a used Amazon shipping box into a free soap mold. I'll show you how to line it, a trick to easily unmold it, then we'll put it to the test with two different batches of soap. Later, you'll get to see me cut the loaves on my homemade soap cutter. This is Jamie at Soap Authority, and for today's project, you will need a box knife, a pencil, packing tape, scissors, a ruler, and one used Amazon shipping box. The one I'm using measures nine inches long, six inches wide, and three and a quarter inches tall. It's important that the height of that is three and a quarter inches because that's gonna be the width of your bar for your loaf mold. The nine inch length will be the length of your loaf. It's okay if it's a little bigger, like maybe 10 to 12 inches, but you won't wanna to go too long or you're gonna have problems with your soap bowing out in the middle once it's poured into the mold. The first order of business is getting this opened up all the way and I'm just picking the tape off to do that. You can also just cut it with your knife. What's really cool is you can actually get two nine inch soap molds out of that. So I'm gonna cut it so I get two. I'm just making a little mark on center on each side. It's just right between the flaps. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna take those marks and I'm just gonna draw a line between the two and that's the center. I'm just gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. And then you're gonna wanna take your box and kind of pull it apart like this, kind of flatten it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the way along that line to open it up. Once it's completely open, I'm just gonna cut that other line so that'll separate it out and I'll be able to make two soap molds. Now your box is ready to fold back up into a mold. What you're gonna wanna do is put the flaps, these side flaps here. See how it's, if I put it on the inside, I'm gonna have bumps, I'm gonna have ridges. I don't want that, I want my soap to be as smooth as possible, so I am going to put it on the outside, just like this. And then I'm gonna tape that down. It'll be nice and smooth in the middle there, see that? Now that I got it together, I'm gonna to measure the inside. So it looks like the inside dimensions is just about three inches, and on the sides, three inches tall. Now I'm just gonna grab this second piece and make a second mold. And see that right there, how it's, how it's got that bump there? It's got extra cardboard. I'm gonna show you how to kind of minimize that so it doesn't leave a big mark in your soap. First, I'm gonna trim this off real quick though. Just kinda want it out of my way. I'm just gonna take this one and tape it up the same way I did the first one. And 
Now you see these holes in the corner right there? What I wanna do is to kinda make that a little bit more liquid tight in case my soap leaks. So I'm just gonna take my tape right here and tape over that good. That should prevent most leaks. I'm just gonna go ahead and do all four corners on both soap molds. Now I've got my two molds here and the cardboard is a little bit loose and I wanna just tighten that up. So I'm just gonna take my box tape here and tape the four corners on the inside too. To fix that cardboard on the inside of the mold, I'm just gonna put some tape over it to smooth that sharp edge out so it's less likely to leave a mark on the bottom of my soap. It's not a big deal if it does, this is optional. You don't even have to do this if you don't want to. I want to line the first mold with freezer paper, and since my mold is 9 inches wide and up the sides is 3 inches on each side, I will need about 17 inches to fully cover all the mold with a little bit of overlap to tape down. Here's my sheet of freezer paper, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the slick, shiny, coated side facing up. That's going to be touching the soap, so when I'm folding, I want to keep that in mind. What I want to do is go in a little bit over three inches from the edge and I'm going to create a fold right there. You can just use your ruler to do that. Then I'm gonna take the other edge of my paper right here next to it and I'm gonna measure in just over three inches. And then I'm gonna fold this in a 90 degree angle. Now I'm gonna take my soap mold and I'm just gonna set it up against my paper and measure the long edge on the inside of the mold. So try and get the measurement for the inside of the mold and make a mark. And then I'm gonna fold that over and press that flat. What I want to do next is measure three inches from that crease and just cut off the excess.
As you can see, I've got three of the four sides of my mold liner folded. I'm just gonna open this up and turn it around and refold it, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my mold and put it inside and make sure that it's not too long or too short. Sometimes one side's a little bit longer than another. Mine's a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna unfold it really quick and move maybe just a smidgen over just to make it a little bit narrower and see if that works better. That's definitely a better fit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that crease down into the corner and hold it tight. And then I'm gonna push the paper up against the other side so I can get the crease exactly where it needs to go to fit the mold. Once I've got that, I'm gonna fold it over and just have a crease up top on the edge so I know where I can trim it off. See, it fits perfectly, the bottom. And now I'm gonna show you how to fold it to get a watertight seal so your soap doesn't leak. I'm gonna be tucking the corners on the short side of the mold kind of just behind the end. So you're just gonna line up the creases and you're only gonna push down and crease the side that's on the short end. You're gonna leave the long end uncreased so you don't have a mark. It's just gonna be a smooth side. I'm just gonna trim off the end right there so it fits better. On the other side, you're gonna line up your crease again. Try and get it as straight as possible to keep your liner square. And I'll zoom in here and you can see I've got it lined up right on top of the other crease. And then I'm just gonna crease the side again, the short side, leaving the long side uncreased. I'm just gonna take that end here so it fits better and just trim that. And you can see when I pull it up into the 3D shape, I can just fold those edges, those flaps, right behind the end. It'll be right behind the end of the loaf there. Next, I'm gonna flip it around and do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm gonna line up my crease. And then I only wanna fold it on the short end of the mold liner. See how I leave that uncreased right there? Trim it off again. And then the fourth corner, I'm gonna do the same thing there. And the reason I do this, the reason I fold it to where all the extra paper is behind the short sides is because that's usually your end cut. And usually your end cuts don't look very good to begin with. So you can afford to have a little bit of bulk behind them because you know you're gonna be cutting that off anyway if it doesn't turn out as good as you'd like. See how those end flaps tuck neatly to the side? If this seems like a lot to remember, save this video to one of your playlists so you can watch it later as you follow along with each folding step. The moment of truth is when you try and tuck this down into your soap mold. If you did everything right with a little bit of coaxing, it should fit right in there. Now that I have my mold lined with freezer paper, I'm just gonna grab my scissors and trim down the edges of the paper to the mold edge. That way I could just fold it over and it makes it easier to tape. Now 
I'm just gonna take my tape and as I'm taping down the edge, I'm gonna put my hand inside the mold just to hold the paper and keep it from shifting around. It's better if it's pushed down all the way to the bottom of the mold and then just hold it in place and then tape it. When doing my long sides, I like to fold it over tight and kind of pull it towards the outside edges just to make sure it's not bubbled or bowed. See how the paper's bowed right there? I don't want those waves in my soap. So I'm pulling it towards the outside as I fold it over. And then when I tape it, I just need to make sure that it stays there. An alternative way to line your molds is with the simple office wastebasket liners. And you can get these just about anywhere. It doesn't have to be this brand, but they're nice and slick and your soap will not stick to these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this bag and I'm gonna trim off the sealed end so I can unfold it. Takes, takes a little bit. You could probably get two or three soap liners just from one bag if you cut it just right. Once you have it pulled apart, you'll have kind of like a tube shape to it and you're just gonna take the side of that and you're gonna cut all the way across and then unfold it completely. Now you're just gonna take the soap mold and it's kind of like measuring when you wrap a present. You're just gonna measure and make sure you have enough to cover the inside of the mold with a little left over to tape down. Since the liner is less rigid than the paper, you're gonna have to work with it a little bit to get it straight and it's gonna slide around. So to prevent it from sliding so much and to keep it a little bit smoother and not have so many wrinkles in it, I'm gonna take this coconut oil right here, get a spoonful, and then I'm just gonna use that to stick the plastic to the inside edges of the mold. So I just take a little bit on my finger here and I'm just gonna spread that right along the edge, the upper edge. Try and get it all the way into the corners as far as you can. Then just do the same on the other side. After applying the coconut oil, I just want to smooth out my plastic using that coconut oil to stick and just to kind of hold it in place and hold it straight. You're never going to get it perfect, so don't worry about that. Just get it the best you can. Once you have it where you want it, go ahead and trim off the extra plastic just to make it easier to tape down. 
I'll just grab a little coconut oil here and put that on the ends just to help those so they stick down a little bit better before I tape it. I want to do my best to stuff the plastic down in the corners just so it's as even as possible. It's not going to be perfect, I'm just going to get it the best I can. Then I'm just going to tape it down to keep it in place. The soap molds are all lined and ready to go except for one last step before we test them. I just need to make a cardboard top. I have right here a scrap piece of cardboard and all I'm gonna do is measure, just draw the outline of this soap mold on this cardboard and I'm gonna cut it out and then I'll have a cardboard topper that I can tape on after I pour my soap. Now that I've got my molds made and lined, I'm excited because we're gonna actually test them with two different batches of soap. To start with, I'm making a batch of clover and aloe soap, and that's what I'm gonna use to test the freezer paper mold. It looks like it's holding up really well. I'm not getting any bowing on the sides, which is good. Then I'm just gonna tape down the cardboard and insulate it. To test the mold lined with a wastebasket liner, I'll be pouring a batch of soap scented with relaxation fragrance oil. I'll just cover and insulate this one too until it's time to unmold them. It's been about 20 hours and I'm just gonna use my razor knife to cut this freezer paper. Once I have that done, I'm just gonna slide it out of the mold. And as you can see, it's not coming out easy. And if I look at this, it's not quite a 90 degree angle. It's angled in a little bit, which is keeping my soap from coming out of the mold. So I'm just gonna take my knife and cut this one flap and then it'll slide right out. To reuse the mold, it just needs to be retaped. The next step is to peel off the freezer paper and I just have to unfold the ends here and then I'm just gonna slowly pull each side as straight down as I can. One thing I like to do if I'm having a hard time with this is I'll move the loaf up to the edge of the table, hold on to it, and pull straight down on the paper. You can get a little more leverage that way. As you can see, the creases in the paper left creases in the soap, but it's not a big deal. And you'll barely see it in the finished bar. The loaf is pretty straight on the sides, not perfect, but close. And I'm cutting it on a cheese slicer I modified into a soap cutter. I'll leave a link for that DIY project video below. As you can see, once you cut your bars, you would never know it was made in a cheap Amazon box instead of an actual soap mold. The bars are a little bit rounded at the bottom and not perfect, but that's from using freezer paper. Now onto the soap mold that I lined with a wastebasket liner. Once I get the insulation and top removed, I've got to get it out of the mold. I'll just trim around the edges of the liner where it's taped. It's the same issue. I'm gonna need to open the side of the mold to get this one to slide out. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna cut that side flap so I can open that up and loosen it and then it'll come right out. As I pull the plastic away a little bit, it seems to come off a lot easier than the freezer paper, but I need to be really careful as I do this and kind of go slow. I don't want to rip it really fast because I don't want some of that trash can liner to tear off and get stuck in the corners of my soap. You can see it's kind of wrinkled and folded in. I just want to be really careful. Here, I'll get in close here. Hopefully you can see that, how it's just folded into the soap. And I'm not pulling really hard, it's coming off pretty easy. I just wanna do that slow so it doesn't tear. Not bad, you can see the corners are a little bit mucked up and you can just cut those off. And if you look a little bit closer, you can see the fine lines that are left from the trash can liner. They're not real noticeable. They're just kind of faint and they actually make it look more rustic, which is actually pretty cute. I'm just gonna get a good look at this liner and make sure there's no holes in it or tears because if there is, I'm gonna have to look for that in my soap. I don't wanna leave that in there. Let's just put this on the cutter and see what we have. It cut nice and straight, it's pretty square. The edges are a little bit rough, but it gives it that nice handmade look. As you can see, it's nice and square and straight, and you'd never know that you used an Amazon box for your soap mold. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you have a question, leave it below and let me know if you try this.